This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on today. This staircase is much bigger, but it takes the same amount of code as the last puzzle. Fix this loop to complete the puzzle. Right, so this is the loop we made in the last puzzle. Let me hit run and see what it does. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. Go. Oh, notice? Hmm. Now, I want you to pay attention here. There's seven out of seven blocks already used. So you might think, well, I just need to run that twice, okay? So I can copy and paste it again, and if I run it twice, it goes. Or maybe, maybe I can just use a repeat block and set this to a two and put all of this inside. But we can only use seven blocks, so that's not what they want either. All right, let's make this code repeat more. If this goes down two steps, Then, how many times do we have to run it? Let's try four times. Ah, uh, not quite. Five times. And this allows us to control how many times the code in here runs. And I think we have it. And we didn't even have to add new code. That's what's so nice about loops. Can you imagine having to write or drag out these blocks seven times in a row? It would be really frustrating. Loops are powerful and critical to computer science, so I'm glad we're learning them early. Let's keep going.